Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Math Intervention with Miss Malone. Today we are going over perimeter and it's a kind of a continuation off of the previous videos from last week. So um, as a short review, perimeter is talking about the outside of the shape. Not all the space that's inside, but the outside of the shape. So I have this rectangle right here that we're going to practice with first just to um, brush up our memory on what perimeter is. So, and how we can find the perimeter rather. So let's see, once we, first we find the perimeter by measuring it. So it looks like this, this side right here is around three inches. So I'm gonna put three, all right, three inches. Then we have this whole long side right here, right? So let's go ahead and measure that. This is approximately nine inches. So this side is nine inches. Now we could go all the way around and measure every single side. However, is there another side of this shape that's the same length as this side right here? We have these two sides left over. Is there, an, is there another side that we have not measured yet that is the same length as one of the sides that we have measured? There is this bottom one. This bottom one is also, it looks the same, around three inches. And then we can go ahead and check that. Perfect. And then what about this side right here? Are these sides the same length? Yes. Nine, right? So when we do the perimeter, we add up every single side of the shape that we're looking at. So this number sentence would be what? If we needed to add up all the sides. It would be three plus nine plus three plus nine. So we've added this side, this side, this side, and this side, and then we would figure out the perimeter, how long it is to go all the way around. What would this perimeter be? Three plus nine plus three plus nine. Let's see. This is 12 and this is 12. So it should be 24. Did you get 24 inches? Perfect job. So this shape is 24 inches all around. Let's try to do that exact same thing with this other shape right here. So we have, we'll say six inches. It's not exactly six, but it's just easier. Do six inches. This side is actually five inches, inches long. This side is six inches long. And this side is probably the same as this side, five inches long. What would the number sentence be for this shape? Six plus five plus what's next? Six plus what? Five. Find the perimeter real quick. We have six plus five plus six plus five. One way you can do this is just go like this. So this is a 10, right? Then 10 plus six is 16, plus six is 22. Let's check it. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, One, twenty-two. There we go. I missed a dot. 
So this perimeter of this shape is 22, what's our unit? Inches. Wonderful job. So before we start practicing with some more perimeter problems, I want to make sure that y'all are paying close attention to the unit that we're using in these problems right here with these particular shapes. We are using um, inches, right? And it's really hard to see on my um, tape measure. Uh, we're using inches to measure these, but there's also smaller units of measurement, such as um, centimeters, right, that we can also use when doing perimeter and when measuring things. So once we are practicing on the card, you might see some different units, but I'm just letting you know that that's just meaning that um, they're either smaller or bigger than an inch or something like that, such as a foot's bigger than an inch, centimeters smaller than an inch, right? So you can use different um, units to measure your um, shapes. Um, however, with these example problems, we've been using inches, okay? So if you see a different unit, don't freak out. All right, so with that being said, with using these skills that we went over today, let's go use some practice problems to solidify the skill, and then we'll go to the challenge of the day. All right, guys, so here is our first practice problem. First, let's kind of look at the shape and how they measured each side to figure out what the unit is. Um, like in previous videos, I've explained what the unit means, and it seems like we're not using inches. What are we using? Centimeters. That means that when you're measuring this, you have to make sure that you're using centimeters. And when we say our answer, we have to include the unit in it, not just the number. Wonderful job. All right, so in order to find the perimeter, we go all the way around. So I'm gonna go this way, and this way, and this way, and this way. Ooh, went way too far, sorry. All right, so we have this side plus three, what's another one? Ooh. I'm moving all over the place. Plus three, sorry guys, it got a little messy. And I'll put another plus three over here. So we have three plus three plus three plus three. That's our addition sentence. So what is our answer? Try to figure it out. Three plus three plus three plus another three. What would that be? I got 12. Perfect. All right, guys, let's see if we can do another problem together. So there's not just 12. Oh, I forgot. It's 12 centimeters. All right, let's go down here. Let's try to find the perimeter of this one. So now we know that we're working with centimeters. Y'all know how to find the perimeter. What's the appropriate addition sentence that would go with this problem? Got six plus what? You have another six side, right? Plus six. Plus two, plus two, perfect. Now, if you have your addition sentence already ready, go ahead and try to find that answer. Try to find the perimeter. You should have gotten 16 centimeters. If you got 16 centimeters, awesome job. We made it to the challenge of the day. Here is my weird, weird shape. So your job today, you're gonna do this independently and then check with me, is to figure out what is the perimeter of this particular shape. I have all of the numbers here for you, all the measurements, and your job is to figure out what the perimeter is. Get a piece of paper and first figure out your addition sentence and then go ahead um, and find the perimeter. Ta-da! 
Okay, what did y'all get? I got 36. How did I get 36? All right, great question. So first, let's check our addition sentences. For my addition sentence, I got 8 plus 4 plus 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 10. Once I added it all up, I actually used quick 10 drawings to solve this fairly easily. So I just looked at it and I said, okay, well, the 6 and 4 is a 10. 10. This 10 is a 10 sig. And this 8, well, I know that 8 plus 4 plus 4 is the same as 8 plus 8. And 8 plus 8 is 16, so I drew that the quick 10 way. And then I added up all of my 10 sticks and my 1s and got 3 10s. 30 plus 6 ones, which is 36. So if you also got that, wonderful job, good for you. Um, and you are right, 36 inches. Thank you so much for joining me today in today's math intervention. If you have any questions in regards to this lesson or um, our math curriculum, please feel free to email me at espalonauplifteducation.org. I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions. However, since this does, because this does conclude the end of this lesson, I challenge you to figure out some your like your favorite household items, your favorite toys or books or notebooks, something really easy, and figure out the perimeter of those items using different units. So you'll use centimeters, use inches, um, whatever you would like. Um, so you can further practice the skill that we practiced today. So, um, like I said, y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.